Welcome to Cheyenne Frontier Days, billed as the world's largest outdoor rodeo and western celebration. This 10-day event, held each summer, showcases Wyoming's rich western heritage. That doesn't mean folks who live here say that their state is stuck in the past. We recognize the need to be visionary and forward-thinking. We always have been and we always will be, and this is just part of that culture that we have here in Wyoming. Congratulations. These are some of the residents who see a new and potentially lucrative opportunity in blockchain technology. Case that has it. A digital ledger system which records transactions across many computers and its proponents argue is virtually hack-proof. The advantage is that you don't have a single point of failure, right? You have, instead of relying on one core entity to, to solve a problem, you now can distribute that amongst many people. A few years ago, Wall Street investor Caitlin Long was prevented from donating the digital currency Bitcoin to her alma mater, the University of Wyoming, because Bitcoin was illegal. Her reaction? Guys, this is a problem. We've got to get this fixed. And that's how the ball got rolling. And we did a lot more than just fix that law. Over the past two years, the Wyoming legislature has passed more than a dozen blockchain laws, providing digital assets a legal framework that's key to scaling up the industry. That's the Wyoming Blockchain Coalition's goal. A number of tech-related companies, encouraged by the state's crypto-friendly environment, have or are planning to move here. One Wyoming County's land records are already being transferred to a blockchain system. I think blockchain's the future everywhere, right? Certainly, says Beef Chain CEO Rob Jennings, out on the range. At a time when consumers want to know the history of an animal, all sorts of information about Jennings' cattle is recorded on blockchain. Not only where it came from, but the humane handling of the animal, whether it's non-hormone treated, whether it's all natural, or whatever claims are around it, a lot of that was being done previously with paper. A book's not really good if you just read one chapter here and one chapter here. It's when you put all the chapters together. And so that's what blockchain's going to do. It's going to be allow us to put all the different sectors of the cattle industry together. There are even plans to tokenize the century-old and long-abandoned Heinz building in Cheyenne, making it easier, some say, for community members to chip in and help save it. It will drive down the cost of entry into the investment. So more people can participate in the growth of the value of the building. At a time when the state's coal industry is in decline, enthusiasts say blockchain is rewriting Wyoming history and changing the state's economic landscape. In fact, Long and others argue Wyoming, always known for business innovation, is the perfect place for crypto entrepreneurs. There's a, an ethos in this community which is rugged individualism, personal responsibility. Allowing, she says, the state to charge ahead in this wildly different direction. So it's coming, and uh, we are so far ahead. The hope is that it produces positive results. Henrik Sabrandi, CGTN, Cheyenne, Wyoming.